As an artist, I think it's really important to just like, not really forget why you're doing what you're doing. Really just push yourself and have both discipline and patience with yourself. Being able to like, not worry about the process, not worry about the end result, but still push yourself to try new things and to do something that you think is gonna be more impactful in some way. Even if it is something that's just like a hobby for you, you know? Like, don't let that go to waste. So right now I use a lot of gouache and watercolors. Um, I think they're a lot of fun. I've kind of like really used to them at the moment. Um, but in studio, we've been experimenting with oil paints and with ceramics, and those have both been really fun so far. Um, sometimes, most of the time, I just do a lot of pencil sketches and markers to kind of color that in really quickly. Mostly people, I'd say I draw, but I am trying to do more environments. I think they're really pretty. I use a lot of contrasting tones if I can. Um, so if I try to have something like that's more on the horror side or grotesque versus something like flowers that's more beautiful and like uh, delicate in some way. Um, I like adding that kind of contrast to just kind of like really invoke something in the viewer. Usually up to ter interpretation. A lot of things to do with just like anxiety, self-image and things like that. For the most part with the subjects that I draw, usually there's a bit of myself in there just in the way like maybe um, just through the message behind it and what it's trying to invoke in some way. Usually it's something that I can kind of connect to. I try to make it as personal as possible. Um, even if it is just something that's like for the aesthetic, I at least try to put something in there that it, like either is like something I really like or something that um, has some sort of message that means something to me. Uh, my experience at GSA so far has actually been a lot of fun. Um, I've really liked it. Uh, especially with trying new mediums has been really interesting stuff that I thought that like I really wouldn't have access to. Um, also just meeting new people with like a very similar ideas, similar perspective, who just can like, you can really feel like you understand a little bit better. Again, just like people who are also just as passionate, who um, value their work, who value your work and don't just see it as something that's like, you know, okay, that's cool, you know, you made a pretty picture, you know. Outside of GSA, you know, I don't really, find enough time to really work on art as often as I'd like to. And sometimes it's really difficult just to like make time for it. And sometimes it can even get kind of stressful because it's like, in a way it almost sort of releases some of like the um, anxiety and stress and stuff sometimes. So really just finding time to um, work on it and just like not worrying about it being perfect, just really having fun with it, enjoying the process, which is another thing that I feel like I've sort of learned at GSA is just enjoying the process more than I do the result. Usually back at home, right, I start out with just like the sketch and I'll like sit there for a really long time and just like try to perfect it. I'll erase back and forth um, and then finally I'll use the paint and then sometimes I'll even just get mad. I'll just feel like, ah, oh, fine, I just rip it up and throw it in the trash. But here it's like everybody, even if you think it's not very good, they're like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And so it's more, it's nice just to be able to like see something that you're not as proud of and just be like, you know, this is still good enough. You know, this is still really nice. Um, also something that they've been talking about recently is just like, not really basing like how you value yourself off of how good your art is. Um, I definitely want to continue with art um, no matter what I do in the future. I'm not exactly decided right now if I want to do something more academic as my career or more with the arts. I think it would be more ideal to do something with the arts. I'm hoping I can go back home and really figure out like what I really want to do. Um, but no matter what, I'm still going to have art. I'm still going to be having some sort of shop in some way. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, and doing, again, like more collaborative work, a lot of community work if I can. And I think for a lot of people, art is another way to just like, not just to um, express how they feel, but also to kind of develop themselves into a better person and to understand, you know, not just why they do art, but like why they enjoy being alive, I guess. I, mean, I know that's kind of cheesy, but I don't know. I think it's really important. It's something that anybody can do, really. Um, even if you feel like you're not very good at it, I think it's very good for just personal development, personal growth, um, and just having a better understanding of yourself and the perspectives of yourself and the people around you.